Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium Web Driver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to use keys predefined class in Selenium Python for automation. So let's get started. Keys class in Selenium Python can be used for simulating the pressing of the keyboard keys. Okay, if you want to press any key like enter key, okay, we can use keys dot then you'll get the different keys. So in that you can choose enter key. Similarly, if you want to press a tab key, then you can say keys dot tab. Like that any keyboard key, if you want to press with the help of Selenium Python, okay, we can use a keys class. So how to use this in a practical way, I'm going to show in this session. So for that, I'll take an example, guys. So this is the login page of this tutorialsinja.com website. Let me open that. I'll show you manually what I want to do. I want to go to this uh, page. And then I want to enter the email address here, a valid email address, and I want to enter the valid password here. Now I want to press the enter key. Okay. I don't want to click on the login button here. After entering the password, I simply want to press the enter key like this. When I press the enter key on the keyboard, automatically it will get logged in. This is another way to log in, right? The same thing I want to automate with the help of the keys class in Selenium Python, where keys class can be used for pressing the enter key. So for that, what I will do here is I'll, you know, copy this uh, URL and go to this PyCharm ID where we have some samples Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window and here get command using which we have to open the application URL like this. Once we open this application URL like this, that is login page URL will come, login page will come here. Then I want to enter the email address. Let me inspect this email address field and uh, it has an ID. I'll copy this ID of this email address and simply write down driver.find element by dot id give the id of that uh, field and simply say dot send keys and provide the valid email address here whatever the valid email address that i need to enter i'll provide that here i'll copy paste here then i want to enter the password into the password field let me inspect the password field it has an id copy this id of the password field and simply write down driver dot find element by dot id give the id of the password field dot send the keys and here give the valid password is one, two, three, four, five in this case. Now what I want to do here is I don't want to click on the login button rather after entering the password, I just need to press the enter key. Okay. I just want to press the enter key. So there are uh, two ways here. Okay. To press the enter key, there are two ways. I'll tell you what are the two ways I'm going to tell you guys. So one way is like, uh, I'll use the same element, the password field I'm at the password field only, right? Okay, I'm at the password field. I'll use the same web element for password field and simply say dot send keys after entering one, two, three, four, five as a password. In the send keys, I'll give the predefined keys class in Selenium Python. Okay, there is a predefined class in Selenium Python known as keys class. Okay, and uh, you see if your keys class is not imported, how, uh, how does it look like? Okay, let me show you. Let me remove all this stuff. This is already imported here. What I'm going to do here is just see here what I'm trying to do. So if the keys class is not imported yet, uh, you'll get this kind of error. Okay. So hover the mouse and import the keys class from Selenium like this. Done. Then keys dot, then type enter. Okay. This will press the enter key on the keyboard. Okay. When, when the focus is on the password field, you're pressing the enter key. Okay. When you press, a, press the enter key, what will happen? The application will get logged in. This is one way guys, okay? I'm showing only the one way here by using the normal send keys command of this web element. If I have to press the enter key, I can do like this, okay? This is one way. So I'll do one thing. I'll just for demonstration purpose, right? I'll just add some, you know, time dot sleep. Let's say three seconds. After opening the application URL before entering the email address, I'll give three seconds. Here also three seconds. Here also three seconds. And uh, after pressing the enter key, here also three seconds so that we can see whether this enter key, enter key got pressed and we got taken to the login, uh, we got logged in or not. We want to find it out. After that, I want to quit the browser. That is close the browser, simple words, okay? Now run this script. Here's one way, guys. This is one way of logging in using the keys class where keys class is being used to press the enter key. So it has to enter the email address after three seconds. After three seconds, it has to enter the password. After three seconds, it has to press the enter key on the keyboard. And it, we got logged in. The browser will close now. This is one way. And what is the other way? After entering the email address, after entering the password, there is one more way, guys. 
So rather than writing like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object for the action chains. Okay, I'm going to create an object for the action chains class and import this from Selenium library. Like this, I'll create an object and uh, I'll pass a driver here. So this constructor, I'll pass a driver and uh, I need to create an object reference to refer to this particular object that is actions is equal to. Now using this actions, I'll simply say actions dot, actions dot, send the keys command. And in this, I'll simply write down keys dot enter. Okay, like this dot perform. This is another way. This is another way of, you know, pressing the enter key on the keyboard. Okay, wherever you want. Wherever you want to perform any uh, simulation of the keys, right? Uh, pressing the enter keys or whatever it is, right? You can you can use the help of the action chains and uh, using the object reference of the action chains. You can call the send keys and then you can perform the pressing of the keys or whatever it is, okay? Entering, uh, pressing the enter key and simulation of the enter key or whatever the key you want. So let's see whether this approach is working or not. This is also going to work, but here we have followed a different approach. Instead of web element dot send keys of uh, keys dot enter or something, here we are following a action chains related send keys we are using. After three seconds password, after three seconds it has to press the enter key. You see, it, even this got worked out, okay? In both the cases, it worked out. And the focus of this session is all about the keys predefined class in Selenium Python, which has all the keys, guys. When you say keys dot, you get all the keys. You can choose any keys, enter key, tap key, down key. You see, you can scroll down and choose any key, whatever you want, or you can type here. For example, you want control key. Control, you can type, okay? Instead of enter key, you want control key. You can press control, that's what I mean. Again, if you want, I am changing it back to enter key. Keys dot enter, keys dot enter, okay? Like this. So any key, if you want to press with the help of Selenium Python, we have to use this keys class and we have to access the keys. So hope guys you understood uh, how to use this uh, keys predefined class in Selenium Python in order to simulate the pressing of the keys. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.